My fellow fanboys, we must be honest with ourselves here. Marvel Studios and Fox aren't exactly getting along, okay? It's making comic book crossover movies that should happen less likely to ever happen. Therefore, in this world, we have to take what we can get. So, that all being said, I must ask you all now, how can any self-respecting fanboy hate a movie that has Hawkeye from the Avengers in a bloody death match with the Dark Phoenix? Ironically, acting more like Dark Phoenix than she did in X-Men 3. Shame. Shame on all of you. Science fiction. Back to the 13 films of Halloween. I'm Adam J. Do you remember last year when Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter came out? Well, for those of you who don't, I think I speak for all of us who do when I say congratulations, you lucky motherfucker. It was a film that I hated, not just because it was bad, but because it ruined one of my favorite books. But even putting the fact that it butchered its source material aside and just taking it as a standalone film, it still failed miserably. Why? Because it never embraced itself and it never tried to have fun. It took the ridiculous notion of Abraham Lincoln being a vampire hunter, which worked brilliantly in the fucking book, by the way, and played it completely straight the entire way through. Top that off with a boring ass villain who wasn't even in the book, and some of the world's worst CG effects, and you have one of the worst films of last year. Now you're probably asking yourself, why the hell did I even bring that movie up in this review? Well, because when I saw the trailer for Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters, that was all I could fucking think of. Seriously, I went into this thinking that I was in for another Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Or worse, Red Riding Hood. Beastly. So, that being said, is Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters just another clone of those horrible abominations? Thankfully, no. It was actually one of the most fun movie-going experiences I had all year. This film got right what all of those other films got wrong. It actually had fun and embraced the fact that its concept was silly. The film stars Jeremy Renner and Gemma Arterton as Hansel and Gretel siblings who became witch hunters after the incident that took place in the fairy tale. When they are called to a small town to investigate the disappearances of many children, they strangely uncover secrets about their troubled past and discover that the kidnappings are all part of a ritual that will make all witches impervious to fire. They encounter a variety of interesting characters on their journey, one of them being a troll named Edward, who has the task forced upon him to protect witches and their kin. Other characters include a townswoman infatuated with Hansel, who may know more than she lets on, and a young boy who idolizes both Hansel and Gretel, and dreams of becoming a witch hunter himself. Not to mention a dark, badass villainess who has ties to Hansel and Gretel's past. For a premise this fucking basic and weird, you would think that the film was just mindless the entire way through, but I'm happy to say that wasn't the case here. Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters actually gets creative with its material. The gadgets that Hansel and Gretel use to dispatch witches in the film are implausible, yes, but it's a blast to see these two use a variety of weapons to kick some ass. Hell, these two have a fucking Gatling gun in the time of the Salem Witch Trials, for fuck's sake. On top of that, they have also invented a variety of steampunk-esque crossbows 
shotguns, and sharp knives to get their job done. Hell, there's even a subplot about Hansel having severe diabetes and needing to take a shot of what we can only assume is an early form of insulin to stay alive. Writer-director Tommy Workola basically said, Hey, I'm gonna take Hansel and Gretel, make them witch hunters, and most of all, I'm gonna have some fucking fun with this. Logic be damned, let's just have fun. From start to finish, this film knows exactly what it is and what it wants to be. It knows it's ridiculous, it knows it's implausible, and it uses that to its advantage in every frame of this picture. It's not trying to be taken too seriously. It's not trying to be the next great art picture. It's just trying to have fun, and it greatly succeeds at that. I also love how this film didn't pussy out on us like Snow White and the Huntsman with a PG-13 rating. It's a hard R meant for adults. Thank you! Finally! I used to know one of these fucking reimagined fairy tales has some balls. The action in this film is insane. It revels in being rated R and is beyond gory. Half the time, I just sat back and laughed at how over-the-top, batshit insane everything was. Now, do I have any problems with the movie? Yes, this movie is not without its faults. The story is very predictable. It's pretty standard, good versus evil, nothing more, nothing less. The characters are likable, but for the most part, when they step on screen, you can pretty much guess what their purpose and everything is going to be. It was also pretty distracting that Renner and Arterton are playing a brother and sister duo who are supposed to be around the same age, and yet Renner looks so much older than her. I mean, seriously, in real life, he's like 16 years older than her. So, you know, for all intents and purposes, he can fucking play her father in a movie! However, while that was a minor distraction, Renner and Arterton are very convincing and do shell out fine performances. But by far, my favorite performance in the whole movie comes from Fabke Jensen as the evil witch Muriel. Uh, humans have such ghastly taste. Jensen was clearly having a ball playing this character, and she finally showed us that she can be a menacing villain when she's given worthwhile material. Fuck Ragnar Kinberg and Penn in the fucking eye socket! I'm sorry, I have to do that every 20 minutes. It's uncontrollable. But anyway, aside from Muriel acting and looking incredibly menacing, the rest of the witches working for her in the film are the same. Every witch in this film, and there's quite a few of them, each has their own unique design, which I greatly appreciated. It just added to the sheer creativity of the picture, and every time a new witch came on screen, it was just fascinating to gaze upon their original designs. The same can also be said for the design of Edward the Troll. Most films like this would have most likely just made this troll character and these witches into lifeless CG eyesores. And I am so glad to see a film that uses makeup and animatronics to create genuinely unique character designs. Now, don't get me wrong, this film does have a bit of CG in it, but much like The Conjuring did, it only uses the CG when it has to. And hey, if you come across that circumstance where with a little CG you can make a particular scene a lot more badass, you know, like, like this, It to you, but it's not gonna be an open casket. By all means, use the CG with my blessing. Just don't ever do it, that's all I'm saying. FUCK YOU! Sorry again. God, I hate that fucking movie.
In the end, Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters was a surprisingly fun time at the movies. It's not perfect, but it never tries to be either. With a premise this silly, the producers, who, by the way, are actually Will Ferrell and Adam McKay, just throwing that out there, and Tommy Workola, could have easily just taken the easy way out. You know, hired anybody for the lead roles made it into a mindless CG fest without any effort. And you know what? If they had done that, it still would have made money on the ridiculous title alone. But they didn't do that. There was clearly a thoughtful vision here. There was clearly creativity put into the production as well as the script. And the amount of heart displayed here makes me truly happy this film exists. It certainly has its place. I want it known I saw this film four times in the theater. Yeah, that's how much of a fucking blast this movie is. So as far as I'm concerned, every other critic on the planet, it's their loss. They can bash the hell out of this movie all they want. Because from where I'm viewing, Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters is the fucking honey badger of movies, and it doesn't give a fuck what you think. That being said, I'm giving Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters and A minus. Some people say that not all witches are evil. I say burn them all. my signal. You unleash hell. Wait, wait, what's the signal? Oh, it'll be me. Blowing one of these bitches' heads off. She looks angry. Yeah, a face like that, I'd be angry too. You shut up. Get your sticking paws off me, you damn dirty ape. Geek Vision.